Hi, I'm Chuck Quinton, founder of Rotary Swing Golf. When I developed Rotary Swing, it was all about getting an objective view of the golf swing based on biomechanics, physics, and anatomy, and how the brain learns new movement patterns. And in doing so, I took a tremendous amount of time researching these different aspects of the swing to come up with a very objective and black and white view of the swing. And one of these things I wanna talk about is the physics perspective, and I'm gonna use my awesome little toy truck here to give you a really clear picture of a concept that we use a lot, which is pushing versus pulling in the golf swing. Now, I'm certain that you've never seen, and if you have, I'd love to see a video of it, of a truck pushing a trailer down the road. Obviously, this would be very difficult to control. If you've ever tried to back up a trailer, you know how easy it is to get the, truck, the trailer moving in a different direction all the time, anytime you're pushing it. But now what happens when you change that and you pull it down the highway, which is how you see all cars going down the highway when they're pulling a trailer? The trailer follows in a perfect straight line behind the truck the entire time. With no effort on the driver, he just pushes the pedal and it goes straight in a straight line. When you're pushing something, it tends to move offline. Why is that? Well, the reason is you need to line up the force of movement, which in this case is the truck that's moving the trailer. The trailer's not going to move itself. So the force of movement coming from the truck must line up perfectly with the center of gravity of the trailer. If it's just off to the side slightly, this trailer will rotate around its center of gravity and it will move it offline and it will not be able to track in a straight line. Believe it or not, this is a perfect example of how you should swing a golf club and why it's so difficult for most amateurs to swing a golf club. The reality is that most amateurs, because they're right-handed but playing from the left side of the golf ball, tend to use their dominant hand, which is their right hand of course, to push the club into impact. It feels more powerful, but it actually creates more problems in the golf swing. So now let's go and take a look at it with a golf club in the hand and take a look at what this pushing and pulling looks like in the golf swing. Now let's take a look at this push versus pull concept with a golf club in our hands. With the club, it becomes very easy to understand and self-diagnose problems that most golfers have in their swings. The most common one that we see is when they take the club and from the top of the swing, the club starts to go out. You'll, you'll understand this as losing lag or casting the club from the top. And the club starts to look like this as it comes down, they look very scoopy. And then the right wrist is pushing through and flipping the club through. And the, the trick is understanding what causes that movement. Well, let's look at it. How would I get the club, even though this is an unwanted characteristic in most people's golf swings, how would I create that movement if I wanted to? Well, let's see what we could do here. The first thing that I would try to do to get the club to move out that way is to take my right wrist and push against the shaft with my thumb. And as I'm doing this, this is going to allow me, or I can yank down on it with my hand here to try and get it kind of like a, a hammer motion, and that would make the club do that. So. We understand that if I could do this with the club on purpose, I don't want to do this, I want to do the opposite. So this right wrist must be relaxed at the top of the swing. I don't want to be pushing against the club to try and make it throw out away from me. The second way is to take my right arm and move it from my elbow, and that will also cause the club to throw out away from me. So we don't want to do that. The other one, so I can take my thumb, my left thumb in this case, and push against the shaft and make the club go out that way. So those are three common causes. We know we don't want to do those things and all three of them involve pushing. So what would we want to do? Well, if we want to not do those things, we got to do the opposite. So let's relax all of these muscles. And as we start down and shift our weight and my wrists are soft instead of pushing out against the club, now my wrists maintain that lag angle. This motion going from this to this is what dramatically changes and will revolutionize any golfer's game who casts the club. You will not have any club head speed if you cast the club. The vast majority of your speed comes from the leverage that's produced from your wrist. About two thirds of your overall club head speed comes from just that motion of releasing the angle you set in your wrist. So it's important to understand and develop this motion to keep our wrists and our arms soft at the top and use our weight shift with our lower body to help bring the club down. Now the great thing is I've got some really simple drills that I want you to focus on in this video as a bonus video 
called reshaping your swing for lag and it will help you work through this motion training both hands independently so it's easier to understand and develop this motion so take a look at this bonus video and it will help you tremendously in building way more lag in your swing and get rid of this dreadful motion of pushing against the shaft and throwing the club out away from you at the top A lot of times when you're working on your golf swing and you get into the website and there's a lot of videos on there and you're working on little tiny things and getting into the nuts and bolts of things, a lot of times what you really need to focus on is just building the shape of your swing. And so I call what we're going to work on today reshaping your golf swing. And what I mean by that is it's training yourself to learn how to swing the club and how the club works and how the wrist works and how the arms work rather than worrying about you know, getting my takeaway perfect and my setup perfect and all those things which are extremely important of course. But a lot of times we just need to kind of reshape the swing because you have so many little things going on that you don't have the basic idea and the basic concept of how the basic swinging motion of the swing works. And so that's what this video is all about. We're going to focus on the left arm first and I'm going to teach you the basic swinging motion. This is going to look a lot like what you perceive as a golf swing. So it's very simple at first. We're just going to, we're, we're, before we get into this progression of drills, we're just going to get the basic shape of the swing. And so there's a couple key points that we're going to focus on. So the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously grip the club with my left hand only. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back and get my arm to a position at the top that's resembles a golf swing. Don't worry about getting it perfect just yet. We're building the overall construct of the swing. So I'm going to keep my left arm straight. I don't want to see this. But I'm going to turn back. I don't want to see this. So as I turn back to the top, weights on the right, all the basic stuff that any piece that you're working on on your golf swing, whether it's the down cock or weight shift, stuff like that, you can still do that in this drill. So to the top and turn. And now what I want to do is I'm going to just shift laterally just a little bit just to get my weight back to the left side and then I'm going to let my left hand swing down. 